YouTube, man, the streams have been popping lately. Every single night, we're at it playing Madden 21. And this weekend, we played Throne in a best of three for $1,000. If you want me to put those games up on YouTube, I want this video to get to 1,000 likes. We can do it. You guys have been showing tons of love. And this game here was actually against Bam Scheming, the Green Bay Packers Club Series champion last year and he made the final four of that tournament one of the more innovative players in the world always tries to do something different have a different scheme that's why his name is scheming man and you know my team is changing every single day they just dropped the legend bundle i added some legends to my team they didn't have them this game but i'll keep you guys updated on my team like i said hop in the stream tell me you're from youtube tell me you're there to support but let's get into this game all right, so we're kicking the ball off first, and one of the things that's great is you want to get as many offense and defensive looks on your opponent as you can. So if you're kicking the ball off first, you want to keep the ball in front of you. Show, make him show you as many plays as he has as possible, man. If you can get into, get into his playbook 10, 15 plays deep, you're going to be doing pretty good on offense. Now, Scheming is actually utilizing the ability to audible from bunch to a little bit single back, and I give up a big corner route to Finley, who by far is the best tight end in the game. Jermichael Finley's actually insane. I, I would venture he's probably the best offensive player early in the year in Madden 21. You're talking about a must-have player, Jermichael Finley at tight end. But he's actually utilizing the ability to put two tight ends in bunch and then audible down to single back, ace, and, and it was giving me a little bit of trouble. So you can't really run a pass-heavy defense like dollar or 146 or quarters. You have to have some beef linebackers or something like that in the box when you're playing these two tight ends. So... I'm running the Seattle offense. That's my playbook, man. If you guys want the offense, defense, special teams, MaddenTurf.com, that link is below. The offensive ebook is out right now. Mostly bunch, little wide trips, little bit of bunch tight end. Trey wide flex. Of course, we got a dagger breakdown in there for you guys. But uh, uh, the meta early in the year is a lot of man coverage and scheming is pretty much going to mix in that mix in zone he's i said he's always a creative player one thing that you got to give him he's always been super creative in this game i actually have work done now i have barry sanders i hit this out route to drew bennett in the slot absolutely one of the toughest receivers in the game so far as drew bennett that big size reliable to catch um and we're going to go ahead and hit this little flat right right there to flow out of bounds we don't get that third and goal we're looking into the end zone and we're able to just get sacked Boom, just like that. Have to settle for three early in the game. So we're down seven to three. Gotta play some defense. Uh, this guy's a club series champion, man. He's no slouch at all. Um, I have to come up with a problem against this this bunch to, to ace close. That's tough, uh, especially, I'm telling you, the tight ends are unguardable. Whether it be Kittle, Finley, these guys are absolutely studs. Right there, my man coverage does a good job. He has to throw the ball away right there. Another reason I like going to man coverage is because I always have felt like man coverage plays the run so much better than zone and we get a huge sack right there from trey waynes in a slot uh it plays the run so much better and man he tries to go up top but we cover it adrian wilson big interception the one thing about this game compared to other games the db your user jumps there is no more as we hit this post route to drew bennett there is no more fat feet can't jump in the air your user will jump and get the football linebacker db whatever it may be they will do that and we're going up top Boom, Tyree Kill, post route, speed kill is the fastest player in the game. Tyree Kill, Baja, 10 to seven. Now we're feeling good. We get the ball to half, we got that stop, we got that touchdown. Let's keep the momentum rolling. Um, gotta guard Finley, that's, I feel like that's how it's been and I'm using him, him myself right now. Man coverage is doing a good job, but once he starts breaking out this little motion glitch right there to Kittle, boom. and. Kittle's got wheels. He's getting up there. He almost got away from Adrian Wilson. They, these guys know how to motion glitch you. And then Finley again hits the corner route. Try to dive and tackle him. Can't can't got guard that guy, Jermichael. So they know how to like flip your assignments and all this. And, and just too much, man. So like I said, good scheme. Start really fried my man covers that time. Might have to go to zone. But if you go to zone, you're a little bit more susceptible to the run. And that's one thing I hate is being susceptible to the run. Hit my man, work done underneath. I have that backfield master, which has uh, the hot routes and has better catching, improved catching. Dump the ball off to Ed McCaffrey. Little jerk will go ahead to the sideline like that. Boom. We have one timeout left. We're on a 46-yard line. Little hitch underneath to Bennett. Closing in on field goal range. Uh, where we at? No timeouts left. 34-yard line. Step up. Wheel route. Boom. McCaffrey should have got out of bounds right there. But 
we'll spike the ball and we'll have probably one shot to the end zone man if you have one shot to the end zone you gotta go verts boom he leaves bennett one-on-one -on -one and bennett smokes man coverage touchdown huge play drew bennett lamar jackson and drew bennett i'm telling you i can vouch for drew bennett and, and jermichael finley being absolute studs um and listen i, I they hold me down as far as like players that I need, players that I, I would tell you guys to get. Drew Bennett's definitely one of them. Uh, we're going to go ahead and try to stop him from getting anything before half. He's just going to try to mix in a couple deep posts, a couple, you know, whatever he can. Now he's probably just going to run the ball. Hope to get the fluky. That's what they hope for, the fluky here before the half. But we're able to rally and wrap up. And we're going to halftime. I get the ball. I'm up by three. Everything is cozy. Everything's feeling good. Got to keep, them, gotta keep the, the, the offense going. We got two touchdowns and a field goal, so we have scores on every single one of our drives early in the game. Hit that, oh, we get sacked, or we get hit, throw out a sack. Throw out a sack has been a talk from a lot of people, but I honestly really like to throw out a sack. I, I really have no problem with it. I think it's a variable. Man, if you don't want to throw a pick, don't throw when somebody's close to you. Have awareness to where the players are. And we get an early fourth down right here. We're going to go for this. Um, look to the flats. We're going to hit this in route, though. Boom. Tyreek Hill right there. First down early. If it's less than fourth and five, I think I'm going for it in this game. That's pretty much how I feel, especially against another talented player that we need to keep getting scores on, keep staying above the above the lead or above his score or, you know, having more points than him, pretty much. Finley in the flats again, little hurdle. Um, just an absolute dog. That's pretty much how I feel. Hit him again, Finley. Boom, inside the 15-yard line, taking a hit stick. That's what it's about right there. We're going to go post route. Oh, I missed it. I missed it. I didn't know that I missed that wide open post route there. But we'll get it again. We'll route Tyreek Hill. Baja, touchdown. Just like that. So we go up two scores. I mean, this has been a great offensive game right here. Feeling good. Just got to play defense. Now you're at the point in the game. You go up two scores. It's going in the fourth quarter. You can play really safe on defense. Uh, pretty much keep everything in front of you. Make him use some clock because next possession, if he's, even if he scores a touchdown, next possession, you'll be chewing away the clock. We're into the fourth quarter. Got to keep everything in front of me. Nothing down the field. And right there, I send the spy and the man covered sends too. Hate when that happens. But we're under, we're getting close to under three minutes. No big passes. Once again, rolling away, throwing the ball away. Uh, we're going to play man coverage right here. Just stay safe. Once again, Finley is just... That tight end crossing route, honestly, uh, is probably one of the better routes in the game. Might be something I want to put into my game uh, going down down the line here. But that tight end crossing route is mean. Uh, he's, we're under three minutes here. He's going to scramble with Lamar. Try to fit in another play right here. Second and one. Everybody's bottled up. He gets sacked. And what he does here is pretty smart. He's going to kick a field goal early. So he's only down by seven. And pay attention to this, though. There's two minutes and one seconds left, right? So he's actually going to kick this ball out of bounds. Why? It kind of gives up a lot of field position, but you keep the two-minute warning because the clock doesn't run at all. By keeping the two-minute warning, you kind of secure yourself an extra timeout. Think about that if you're ever in a situation. Two minutes and two seconds left, you kick it out of bounds, you keep that two-minute warning. Now I have to get an extra play, uh, an extra situation, but we hit McCaffrey right off the bat. Boom, but he doesn't have to use a timeout because of the two-minute warning. Uh, Got to make some more put underneath work done option route. I told you guys about that option route. It really cooks man coverage, especially with that backfield master. He doesn't use a timeout, so we're going to milk it down, run a little read option right up the middle. Finally uses a timeout, so we got two timeouts left. Um, Got to make a play here on offense to, to secure myself. Boom, Finley right there. A possession catch, but it goes, it, it, it doesn't pass the line. Fourth and two. We're going to go ahead. I think he's going to run man covers. We're going to go ahead and try to get it all right here. A lot of times when you short yardage situation, look up top. I really feel like that's the best thing you can do because they're definitely looking short. So we're going to go here, run a little mesh post. Uh, we're going to look for Finley underneath. We're going to look for Bennett. We're going to look for the post route to McCaffrey. I like Bennett on this corner route. And wow, Asante Samuel just bagged him. Absolutely strapped him. for, But he has the ball now. We got to play some defense. One timeout. Got to play some defense. I felt going up by seven, and he hits this post route the hill, and he juke. Excuse me. Not going to catch Tyreek Hill once he gets by you. Uh, I deserve that. I guess I clicked off, and he, he caught a mean juke right there. Big play. 24-24, <sighs> but this is why they watch. Tie game. Three timeouts. 54 seconds. I have done more with less. 
So let's make some plays here. Uh, let's try to get some. All we got to do is get a field goal. I'll be honest. I suck at field goals this year. The new meter is, is killing me as I roll out with Lamar. Look down the field. Nowhere to go. I'm running about. Take my six yards. Get up out of bounds. That's cool. 41 seconds. Don't have to use a timeout. Hit the flat right over here. Tyreek Hill out of bounds again. Still have all three timeouts. 38 seconds left. Uh, one more big chunk and I'll be cool. And we get sacked right there by Porsche right there. Second and 12. Looking, dump it off to my man, work done. Breaks a tackle, got to get out. Oh, I got to get out of bounds there. Use a timeout, 24 seconds left. One timeout, we're looking for it all. Up top, Tyreek Hill, Baja, into the end zone, boom. I wanted to fall down right there, but they don't let you fall inside the five yard line at all. Big play, got to keep that post in your back pocket just for those moments when they start cross man and being cute and not leaving a deep blue in the middle of the field. Baja, Tyreek Hill, 15 seconds left. That should do it, 12 seconds left. This is where I'm three deep, I'm everybody back. Everybody back, nothing crazy. Take your user, run to the back of the end zone right here. Uh, last play of the game, he's gonna roll out. Try to hit the running back, boom, that's it. Keep him in bounds. GG's in the chat, if you like this game, Get this to a thousand likes. I put those thrown videos up this week.